Yvonne, thank you for coming in today. I can see that you are very concerned about your anxiety. I can see that you are lying awake at night worrying. It is clear that your symptoms have returned because you are pregnant and because you have stopped your medication. I am concerned that if we don't start some treatment for you soon, that your symptoms will get worse. You may actually develop a depressive episode in pregnancy. We know that women with anxiety often have coexisting depressive disorder. We also know that if you have severe symptoms of anxiety and depression, that this can affect the baby. I know you don't want to expose your baby to the medication, but I am concerned about exposing your baby to chronic depression and anxiety. This may result in the baby being born early or being born at a slightly less than expected weight. I'm also concerned about your mood and how you're going to cope postpartum. We know that if you are chronically anxious during your pregnancy, that this is a huge risk factor for developing a postpartum depression. We know that the longer you remain unwell, the harder it is to treat your symptoms. Well, what does that mean? Well, let's look at other treatment options. We don't have to go first to venlafaxine. Let's start with the NESS program. Are you familiar with this self-care program? Uh, I've, I've seen it on the website. Yeah. In this program, we look at uh, making a priority of nutrition, exercise, sleeping well, having time for yourself, and being around supportive people. After the NEST program, I would recommend that you reconnect with your counsellor and start CBT. Okay. We know that CBT is a very effective treatment for mild to moderate anxiety. Yeah, I can do that. Great. Now, let's try these. Let's try the NEST and CBT and see how you do. Yvonne, if that combination doesn't fully treat your symptoms, we may need to start treatment with venlafaxine. Okay, yeah, but what does that mean for my baby? It's important that you know that babies who are exposed to venlafaxine in pregnancy may experience some mild transitory symptoms at the time of delivery. These symptoms are called neonatal adaptation syndrome. They may include jitteriness, respiratory distress, temperature instability. Usually the symptoms are very mild, Usually they resolve without any treatment or any long-term consequences. Uh, okay, I, I don't want to do that though. 